Howdy friends. So if you see me play live, um, you know that I always try to do everything that I can to set up and tear down things as quickly and as efficiently as possible. So I've got everything racked up. I've got snakes, um, drop snakes for different things. And the piano is one that I absolutely love um, traveling with. And it's worked out really, really well. I built this base for it, hollowed it out, took the um, harp and everything out of it. But uh, I've been noticing that these wheels, when they sit for a while, um, flat spot. So they're not really that great of wheels. They were rated for 200 pounds, but it's just not very good. And the last time I pulled it out of the trailer, I realized that a lot of the bell bearings, um, for whatever reason, were actually coming loose out of these. So I'm going to swap these out for some much better, heavier duty casters. And instead of having six that I had on here, I'm just gonna go, because these are a little bit bigger and beefier, I'm gonna go with just four of them. So hopefully it'll roll a lot easier, be a little bit more manageable on stage and easier to get in and out of the trailer. So, and uh, I think weight wise or whatever, having four of these as opposed to six of those might be a little bit of weight savings. I'm more concerned with the roll, the locking. Um, these have better locks on them than these do. Um, and the sustainability of the actual wheels. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all these off and we're gonna slap these on. So the other reason why I wanted to do this was because the screws that I had before were pretty small and I actually had one of the casters fall off before. I'm going to change them into a lot bigger bolts so they go in, they hold better, and hopefully these wheels will be a whole lot more sturdy. Um, actually, I did on the one that fell off, which was this one, I had much longer screws that I put in there. Um, and I think I'm going to put them back in um, just because they were actually... Uh, helping hold the back in a little bit so but I did these on an angle to try to help the corner pieces whatever stay in um, but I think all in all this is actually going to be a much better more solid um, setup after we get it done so time to pre-drill so I don't totally wreck two by fours pre-drill and then we'll start putting them on <laughs> Hmm. 
and there you go uh put the garage door down because it was raining but casters are now on and uh already having to spin yeah, it around uh it definitely made a huge difference just even being on the one side so um you can see like size different wise like just the red ones are just a lot beefier so this would be my word of warning slash caution advice if you're going to build stuff to go on the road uh don't skimp out on the casters um i literally got these small ones because they were a little bit less expensive they said 200 pound capacity and it's like no yeah, piano after the harps out of it isn't that you know heavy and the keyboard i put in it was like 25 pounds so I, even though technically rating wise these still worked they just weren't beefy enough so if you're going to do this may build your own road cases build a hollowed out piano invest in casters unless you're never going to move it and then at that point in time just set it down and build a caster board but three inch three to four inch casters um get the beefy ones that lock um both rotating and the wheel itself these only had a lock on the actual wheel which was the other problem is because even if it was locked um the piano would still move around a bit so Pretty simple, pretty easy. I wish I had taken a video of the entire keyboard being, or piano being, you know, deconstructed. If I do it again, I'll definitely do that for you guys. But if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Let's see how it goes.